quickly let me show you what to do when you are having this kind of issue you see there is a gap between the first floor wall and the ground floor wall all you need to do is simply select that wall you select this wall and go to the property palette check the base offset this should be set to zero and also check the base constraint level okay know the level it is stopping all right and if you go to my elevation now and once i do that you can see it has come down if i go to one of my elevation let me go to one of my elevation now you can see all the levels now now if you look at the level you see here we have two levels here we have one of the level here we have another one here and let's try and know their names let's try and know the names of all this level they don't they have jump pack each other so i can actually click on this on this little zigzag when you select it you see that little zigzag so that you will be able to separate them okay so i have dragged them apart now now if you look at these levels the lower one is level four can you see that the lower level is level four okay so and the upper one is first floor that means all the walls all the external wall on the first floor should stop at level four you get it and all the walls on the ground floor the upper constraint should also stop at level four you understand what i'm talking about now for the first floor the base constraints should stop at level four and for the wall on the ground floor the top constraint should stop at level four all right so if any of them is not stopping at level four you will see that gap and one of the things that could make them not to stop at that level it could be that you have not set the level properly if i select the wall now let me make sure is the wall i've selected okay make sure is wall you have selected okay you can see i have selected the wall and once i select it i go to the property palette you see the base constraints so here you can set it to the base constraint you want and if there is an offset you are going to see that gap if you don't want to see any gap then set the base offset to zero and also form the habit of setting the top offset to zero as well so this is this is where you can control the height of your wall you set them based on what you want i'm sure this video is going to help you see you in the next video bye